time for something completely different. I'm gonna have to move this steering wheel though. I've just realized I still left the steering wheel there. So let's just get that out of the way. First up. Live television people. Well, live internet. Okay, bring my mouse, or bring my keyboard into play because this is a PC, not a PS4. We're on PC. Okay, we have been given another game to try. Uh, this is called Biotope Aquarium Simulator. It's just been released on Early Access on the Steam page. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find a link in the description. Just full disclaimer, uh, this was given to me by the developer, uh, free of charge. I haven't paid for this, uh, and they haven't stipulated that I have to be positive or anything like that. So, as always, whenever, whenever I do these indie game things, uh, what the reaction you will get from me will be true. It won't be, you know, false. You know, there won't be any fake enthusiasm, not on this channel anyway. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Simple as that. Uh, but yep, yeah, uh, basically it, it, it is a fish tank simulator. There's, there's no other way of describing it, apparently. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I, I played around with the settings, that's about it. And I clicked on start game, and that was it. Um, a couple of things. It is early access. There's only two languages, which looks like, you know, DE, which I'm assuming is German or Dutch. I'm not sure. Uh, wow. Uh, yep. I uh, don't know what binominals means. Graphic wise, it says enter full screen, but that doesn't work. It doesn't, for some reason, that enter full screen button has no effect. What? So ever. Uh, I've tried to play it at 190 by 1080 at just 60 frames per second. And I've turned like these on and everything, but they, they don't seem to work. So, German. Cranky old Dave, how you doing? I thought it was German. But yep, yeah, so it, it is early access, so maybe that'll get fixed in the future. This is a placeholder for credit screen. This is how early access it is. It's got placeholders in it. But anyway, so start game. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. What? Oh, okay. There's no load screen. Like I can't see uh, a place to... Uh, how do we call this dead, dead fish swimming? Dead fish swimming. <laughs> so we'll, we've got a tutorial tank, an empty tank, an Amazon tank, and a Malawi tank. I think we'll just start with the tutorial tank. Uh, and we'll we'll jump on. I think it's all in the title. Right, so this is as far as I've got previously. We've got a tank, and it's a tutorial. Part one. Part one, first steps, install filter. Navigate to the tank editor, find the needed asset, select and pull, drag and drop it into your tank. Okay, so, and there's my tank, okay, so I want filters, is that a filter? Blue life clean internal filter, what's that? Blue life illuminate stand. Okay, a filter. Well done. Where, where's the best place to, to position a filter, I wonder? The 
It doesn't actually tell you. The back or at the bottom. Okay. So there's our filter. What was step two? Activate the filter. And how do we do that? I didn't see that. Step two, activate filter. Switch to aquarium view and open the filter control panel. Turn on the filter. See, is it the top though? I mean, because all the shit goes to the bottom. So I always wonder, why would you put it at the top? But uh, I don't know. Uh, on. Oh. <laughs> Insert background. Go back to the tank editor and select a nice background. Drop and drop the selected background into the tank. Okay. Backgrounds. Oh, we only got one. Well, that's pretty dull. Well, the background is, is digging into the filter. Info. Is it supposed to have? Shopping tour. Navigate to the Blue Live Shop and buy five decorative stones. <laughs> five decorative stones. One. Buy. Shit, there's loads of stones. Did it didn't actually say that I had to buy anything, what type of stones I had to buy, did it? Well done. Buy five plants for your tank. Well, not a great deal of here, is there? So we'll buy two. Buy two. And buy one. Well done. I should really be reading these, shouldn't I? But anyway. Buy five neon fish. What am I buying? Buy five parachurid parachuridon or Types of, oh fucking hell! <laughs> so it can buy one of those. I can buy one of those.
So we go with five of those. Let's just buy five of the same fish. No, let's buy five and one of those. And one little fish. Buy a heater with at least 150 watts. I really should look at the fish. Let's say 150 watts. Well done, you finished this part of the tutorial. Aquarium setup, step three. Place acquired stones into your tank. One, two, three, Rotate them. Right. Oh, there you go. You can rotate it. Fuck. Ah. Uh. It won't let me... Yeah. Okay, now it wants me to put the plants in. That's a big plant. One. Two of these. Okay. That was easily. Switch to a camera and open the heater control, but turn on the heater and set it to 25 degrees Celsius. Wait, activate time warp and wait until the water temperature has at least reached at least 20 degrees. Where can you see the water temperature? Huh? You have to click on this to see it. And where's the water temperature? Where does it tell you what the water temperature is? Temperature, 18 degrees. <laughs> you, don't, 
You were watching fish tank vids and now you're playing a fish tank scene. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Um, should I ask why the hell you were watching fish tank? <laughs> Get an overview of the condition of your life forms. Don't have any life forms. Meanwhile, my fish is somewhere. I wish you could turn this off. I don't remember installing that. Blue Life Luminant. I didn't, I didn't turn that on. <laughs> yep, I had bacterial bloom problems. Uh, Charlie's got fish. And they have problems. The main, the main one being Charlie's got fish. <laughs> okay. Temperature's not going up. How long does it take for the temperature to go up? Bloody hell. Dissolve CO2. Whatever that means. Oh, it's got screensaver mode. What's the screensaver mode? Really screen saver mode because it won't go into like full screen mode. You still got an info thing up there as well. Still got 20 degrees. Activate the timer and wait until the water temperature has reached at least 20 degrees. That's what I did. Well done. Thank you. Place acquired fish into your aquarium. Navigate to medications menu and find the fish food. Drag it to your tank and select an amount of 0.2 grams. You finish the tutorial, you collected experience and reached level 1. Don't forget to regularly feed your fish. Is that it? Quest completed. Tutorial quest. New quest available. Time warp.
Don't zoom in. Can't zoom in. I don't know, why are you watching someone playing an aquarium simulator? New quests. Where are the quests? No, that's statistics. Uh, quests. Time warp. If you are impatient to see how things develop into use the time warp feature. used it. <laughs> what now? <laughs> At least two fish live in the same tank. The time lapse mode is activate hold the conditions for 30 seconds. What? So Thirty seconds. I don't know. It has now. Quest complete. Income acquired ten euros. Okay, so you get your income from completing quests. <laughs> Happy fish. Level 1. Reward f money 20. Fish are happy if their stress level is less than 20%. Keep at least 5 fish in one of your aquariums and make sure they are happy for 5 days. Your grandpa asks you to set up a tank with four famous submarine models. Get these models from the accessory section of the store and place them in one tank. So we accept the happy fish. It actually runs in real time. At least five among these have a stress level below 50%. All these conditions for five days game time. I should really, I mean, my fish are probably hungry, right? Don't know to feed them. Nothing to me. How do you know if the fish are well? Health a hundred percent, stress level four to six percent, saturation zero. What does that mean? pH. Everything is fine apart from the pH. So 
What have we got here? That's fish food. Hydrochloric acid. Maybe used to lower carbonate hardness, KH and pH alongside with it does not affect general hardness. One teaspoon per 100 litres of water. Oh yeah, but... By that. Right, KH. Its pH is fine. I mean, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine for that one. It's the little blue ones. This doesn't even mention KH. Hey, <laughs> Is, but anyway, uh, all right, okay. Let's go to the shop. Fifty mils per one hundred liters of water. It's 104, so it's 75 mils. <sighs> it seems a lot. This seems that seems excessive. Hang on. There's no way that's a hundred and forty-four liter tank. That's not right. Hang on. That's not a hundred and forty-four liters. Or is it? No. Could it be? You reckon that's what it's saying? They're going to tell me it's 144? I 
80 by 40 by 45. Why doesn't it just tell me? That's got to be 144 litres, right? Is that what that means? I don't know! So it would be 75 mils. Oh well, if we kill the fish, we kill the fish. 60 centimetre. Volume, 60.75. Uh, Alright. Okay. Fifty mils per hundred litres of water. So, okay. Seventy-five mils. It just seems a lot. It seems an awful lot. Probably kill the fish and then it'll be game over. a bit more feedback on what's happening. Oof. Okay. That was a big drop. <laughs> Oops. Stress levels got up to 89%. 89%, 89%, what about you, 85%, oops, <laughs> maybe I should have uh, done it in increments. What can you use to increase it? Press level is dropped. Could probably do with more salt. Didn't know you could salt your fish. Oh. 
There we go. Everything is relatively green. Check this one, stress level. I needed to raise the pH. So if we move this so that it's, we go to day six. Check their levels. It's ninety percent. Why? Why is it ninety percent? That pH. Why is the pH levels dropping so badly? I don't know. Killing my fish. Killing my fish. It's called dead fish swimming. <laughs> oh, right. This is <laughs> this is not good. Currently at nine point five. This is like it'll drop it to seven point six four. Immediate effect. Okay, we're in the green, we're in the green. 
Doesn't tell how often you should you feed your fish. Dry fish food and float form made from a rich variety of raw materials suitable as a staple food for tropical ornamental fish. Macronutrient 50% 8% fat, 2% carbohydrates. But it doesn't tell you how often you should feed them. What about you? Well, his stress level's fine. Look at that, zero. Health, 93% though. Why? What saturation mean? There's some green all over the place. Eight up to ten. Oh, it's not very good, is it? Its health is eighty six. So, green means healthy, right? I'm assuming. Look at that. There we go. Health 100. Health 100. Health not so good. <laughs> health 100. Are they all 100? Or just the three new ones I've added. Ooh. 
Come get your fish food! I'm gonna get over there. Instead of filming a blue eye with electric pumping, it's all sorry that probably attachment to the sidewall has a ventral hose for ventilation control available in different performance classes. But it doesn't actually say, like, okay, you should use this for this side fish. Or this side's fish. So. My, it's like, it'd be nice if it actually taught you some things, you know. What's this like? Why is it green, red, and, you know, uh, red, green, and yellow when... What do all these numbers mean? Health going down. I didn't. When, when I started the tank, Mike, I didn't put them straight in, though. That was just it. I just put the ones that I just bought straight in then. But initially, I had to heat up the tank to get the temperature at the right and all that crap. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next day. Original balance fifty cent income expenses sure. electricity bill seven euros. Sorry. Okay. Check the fish stress level. Four to nine point five. We're going to have to add some more salt. Ridiculous that you have to add so much salt every couple of days. <gasps> added too much. It should be fine. It should be fine. These ones are like thriving. These ones are fine. It's these little blue things which are the problem.
Click on the occurring with the eye so you can see the pH and you are passing the time. Ah. You play this game, Laurel. I just wish uh, there was a little bit more info on what, what you should be looking for uh, and that sort of thing. Like, if you don't know anything about fish, this is like, it seems to me like this game is assuming you know about fish. I know nothing about fish. So, you know, this, when I look at, you know, the uh, filter and it says flow rate is this, air flow rate is that, to me it's like, okay, well what? What does that mean? Is that good? Is that bad? What? I don't know. You know? Uh, and like on the fish. Oxygen consumption, 6.7. CO2 production, 7.5. So is that like I should be calculating, depending on how many fish I've got, I should be calculating how much oxygen they're consuming, how much CO2 they produce, and then have the appropriate um, CO2 right. So I should this I should be looking at plants and oh my, I feel like I need a spreadsheet. <laughs> I know it's early access. Uh, I, I need to forgive it for that. But I feel like I need to like I need to ca calculate. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than you think. Like, oh, fuck. the pH levels for the for the plants aren't good enough. <laughs> Holy shit! What about these plants? pH, see the pH levels are slightly high. So these plants shouldn't really go with these plants. I'm, I'm assuming. I thought I bought five plants. Where's the other one? So, 3.7 milligrams, and I have two of those. So, oh my god. Minus? How is that minus? I don't get it. I 
I oh, fucking have no idea what that means, but there you go. Uh, well, still, this is still the tutorial tank. Uh, I'm assuming. It's on. It didn't really give me any information about the light. So, I feel like I've got the wrong plant in there. Their stress levels are fine. It's just the plants that are suffering now. Alright, let's move on to the next day. So is it 7.4? Well, they're, they're eating. I mean, that's not low. That's not getting any lower every day. So I'm giving them the right amount of food. That much I've established. So the nutrients are at the start of each day. Like yesterday, it was 0 0.74 at the start of the day. So I'm not overfeeding or un underfeeding them. Uh, it's just you, this constant having to change the adding salt every day though.
Hold these conditions for five days game time. I wonder why it keeps, if there's anything you can do to make it stop. It's been more than five days now. It's gone yellow. I have no idea how to stabilize it. Why is his stress level shot up? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know.
and wood lowers the pH. nothing. It's gone red. Thanks for dropping by, Varel. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought they were supposed to be relaxing too. Try to use liquid chemical for pH. The only chemicals I've found that That will lower the pH. <coughs> and that lowers pH. The only thing that raises pH is salt. But it's really uh. understand why it just keeps going so low all the time. Health is fine, it's just the stress.
not the it's the blue ones, the cardinals. This probably would have worked if I didn't. no sense. It makes no sense to me. So I put salt in twice and it's still... and it's still... Uh, still dropped. And health is a hundred percent. I don't get it. I don't get it. No idea. I had tropical fish for years, somehow I managed without adding salt. <laughs> the aquariums into an F1 race. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> when these fish seem a lot easier to handle than these ones. There is a whole breed breeding thing. Well, I think that is enough for now anyways. <laughs> I might start a new tank. Uh, I might start a new tank come back to this tomorrow. I might do a bit more of this tomorrow, but I might start a new tank where I'm not following the tutorial 
and actually just figure it out what's going on one thing at one fish at a time or you know get a spreadsheet going with all the math but I do wish like I mean it doesn't give you any information about 225 litres an hour airflow rate 18 litres. like it doesn't tell you anything like what what fish tank you should put that in uh, things like that what temperature should your um, water be for the fish when you click on the fish like when you go shopping and you click on a fish it, it doesn't tell you Okay. It does tell you temperature. Sort of. So. So is nine 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 point five too high? Or is that still in the green? Kill them instantly. This. Yeah, nine point five is is there. Three point five is there. So. What's that? Six different. So six point five should be should be dead center. Kill them all. <laughs> oh, fuck, they died. Them to die that quickly. Uh, yeah. This <laughs> Oops.
Ah. Well, at least he's not stressed. Killed all my fish. What does the help section say? Alright, there is a help section. What what's it say? Maybe next time we'll we'll read this. We'll have a look. <laughs> Oh well, there we go. Uh, all my fish are dead. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I, I, I quite enjoyed it, but I just... I didn't realise... Oh, maybe I should have read the help section. Maybe that would have given me a bit of more insight into it. But anyway, uh, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget, please hit that like button, guys. People aren't hitting my like button anymore. I'm getting one like per video. What's going on there, all the regulars of mine? How can you expect me to grow if you don't help me by pressing that like button? If the person, if the people who press the like button were as consistent as that one subscriber I've got who pressed dislike on every button, I would have tons of likes every day. Anyway guys, that's it. I will catch you next time. Until then, have a good one and uh, bye for now. Bye bye.